is the bracelet that we're going to make. And the bracelet in another color. And this is the bracelet with an added embellishment row of four millimeter crystals. This one also has the added embellishment row of crystals. So let's talk about the materials we're gonna need. For this bracelet, you're gonna need super duos. You're also going to need size 11 Toho seed beads in two different colors. One of the colors should match the Super Duos. And you're also going to need two size six or eight seed beads to connect the clasp with jump rings. If you are making the embellished version, you will also need about between 10 and 12 four millimeter crystals in addition to the Super Duos the two colors of 11 Toho seed beads and the six or eight seed bead to connect the clasp with jump rings. So let's get started. I'm using a size 10 beading needle with about two meters of six pound fire line. And I'm gonna start with a large seed bead and four small seed beads. String that on. And I'll go back up through all of those beads to form a loop. And I'll tie a knot. With my knot in this corner, I'll continue through the next large seed bead. And the next three small seed beads. One, two, and three. All right, now I'm ready to start my first component. I'll add a super duo and I'll string that on. I'll go down through the other hole of that super duo and then back up the previous two seed beads and super duo. And as I pull that tight, I want to make sure that the Super Duo is lying flat next to those two seed beads. They're kind of parallel. And now I'm ready to make my first component. I'll add a seed bead and a Super Duo in one color and then two more seed beads in the other color. This will be the inside color. This will be the outside color. String that on. and then go th down through the other hole of the Super Duo. Again, seed bead Super Duo and two more seed beads, string that on. And then go down through the other hole of the Super Duo. One more time, seed bead Super Duo and two seed beads, string that on, and go down through the other hole of that super duo. Here's where I've got four super duos are on my piece now, and I can connect them around. 
So I'll add one seed bead of the Super Duo color, and I want to go down through the other hole of that first Super Duo. And then continue through the two seed beads adjacent to that Super Duo. And I'm going to turn this around. So my thread is coming out this way from these two seed beads. I'm going to flatten out this into a square. Now I'm ready to connect around the edge. I add three seed beads and go through the next two seed beads on the edge. Add three seed beads and go through the next two on the edge. Add three seed beads, go through the next two along the edge. Add three seed beads, and here I want to go through the next two adjacent to this super duo, not going through any of these other seed beads on the edge. So these are the two I want to go through. Then I continue around the next 10 seed beads to get to the other side. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. And as you pull tight, um, you, you'll notice that the, the, um, it'll have these super duo stick out a little bit with these, uh, seed beads around the edge kind of falling down. So it's a little, it's a little bit like, um, rounded at the top and on the other side, it's, uh, concave. Add four seed beads, and I'm coming out of this seed bead. I want to go back up through the two seed beads before I, where I'm coming out in the same direction that I'm coming out. And then I want to go through the next three seed beads. Add a super duo, string that on, go through the other hole of that super duo, and then I want to go down through the two seed beads and super duo. And when I do that, I want this super duo to kind of fall flat, um, parallel to these two seed beads that it's connected to. So I just kind of move it around. And now I'm ready to finish that component. Seed bead, super duo, and two seed beads. String that on. And go down through the other hole of the super duo. Again, seed bead, super duo, and two more seed beads. String that on. And go down through the other hole of that super duo. Third time, seed bead, super duo, and two more seed beads. String that on. And go through the other hole. 
Now we add a seed bead of the super dual color and we want to go through the other hole of that first super duo. And continue through the next two seed beads. Flip this over. And here is where I can unfold this to be in a square and then go around the edges. Add three seed beads, go through the next two. Three seed beads, go through the next two. Three seed beads, go through the next two. Three seed beads and go through the next two. You want to be careful not to go through this seed bead. When you go put your needle through those two seed beads, you should still see the two linked seed beads on either side. So you're going through the correct two there. Pull that tight. And now I want to go through the next 10 seed beads to get to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Pull tight. All right. And we can do this pattern one more time just to get the, the hang of it. Add four seed beads. Go up through the two seed beads before where I'm coming out in the same direction. And then down through the next three seed beads. Add a super duo, string that on. Go through the other hole. And then through the last two seed beads before the super duo and the super duo. Super Duo to flip to be parallel to those two seed beads we just stitched it to. Add seed bead Super Duo and two seed beads. String that on. Go through the other hole. Seed bead Super Duo. Two more seed beads. String that on. And then go through the other hole. Seed bead super duo, two more seed beads, string that on. And down through the other hole. Add a seed bead, and we want to go through the other hole of that first super duo. And continue through the next two seed beads. Refold, fold it out. Add three seed beads, go through the next two. Add three seed beads, go through the next two.
add three seed beads and go through the next two making sure you don't go through this seed bead that's the the seed bead that links to the previous component so go through these two and continue through the next 10 seed beads And you want to continue these steps until you have the desired bracelet length. And then I will show you how to add the large seed bead to the other end. So I'm going to continue until I have finished my last component um, at my uh, bracelet length. Okay, I have finished uh, my bracelet length and I'm ready to finish off the row and I'm going to add small, large, and small seed bead on my needle. And with my thread coming up out of this seed bead, I'm going to go behind it two seed beads coming out the same hole that I'm uh, coming out of, that my thread's coming out of. Then I'll continue around to reinforce it. through the next two seed beads, through the next two seed beads, and small seed bead. And this is where I can tie a knot. I'm gonna put my needle under the thread between the seed beads and go through the loop once and twice. Now I just need to uh, snip the ends and add the clasp. If I were going to um, add the next uh, embellishment optional row down the center, um, I would just continue from here, but I've tied a knot because this version is just the uh, regular one row version. So for this bracelet, I'm gonna include a second row of embellishment. Um, so Instead of tying a knot here, I'm going to continue through the two seed beads adjacent to the super duo. Then I can go through this right hole of the super duo and the next seed bead. I'll add a four millimeter crystal and go through the uh, opposite seed bead and super duo. Then I'll continue through one seed bead next to that super duo. So now I'm coming out of the middle. I will add a second color seed bead and I will go through this seed bead on the next component. Then I'll go again through the right side of the um, super duo and the next seed bead. Add a four millimeter crystal 
and go through the opposite side, the left uh, seed bead and super duo. Then I'll go through one seed bead coming out the middle of the two. Add the second color seed bead and go through the right seed bead here. One more time, I'm going to go through the Super Duo and Seed Bead on the right, add the 4mm crystal, and go through the Seed Bead and Super Duo on the left. So I'll continue just adding uh, the crystal, Seed Bead, crystal, Seed Bead, until I reach the other end of the bracelet. Okay, I've snipped both the ends of the thread and I'm gonna take my jump ring and open it. Feed it through the large seed bead. Add the clasp and close it. Other side just needs a jump ring, so I'll open other jump ring, feed it through the other large seed bead. And now we have a, a working clasp. And that is our finished bracelet.